So he can deceive you like he's done. He can deceive you? Yes, of course. And to do what? Off the path of God. Off the path of God. Yes. What, what if I do good things? And because I, Who they, are, they are good. Yeah. Beautiful and things. Who determines what's good first of all? What's your moral anchor for goodness? Who decides what you do is good? You can fight in yourself. Without, again, you're doing it again. Again, you're doing it yourself. So what you're saying is this, you yourself, yeah, know everything, know all the answers to all situations, yeah, know what's right and wrong based on what? Your social condition, that's all, your, that's all you are. You're a product of your social environment. What you've yeah. read, what you've been taught, what you've been told, what you've experienced, that's all you are. That's so if you right now were brought up in Hinduistan, for example, you'd be a Hindu believing in Ganesh and Vishnu. Yes, I yeah, could. because you're a man that's easily deceived by your social surroundings. Yeah, actually, we are the product of the social. Surroundings. Yeah, exactly. I'm a product of that same social conditioning. Yeah, but I don't believe what you believe. Right. So I've not allowed that to infect me. I really haven't. Yeah, I don't think I know everything. I don't think I'm my own moral compass. I think I need guidance myself. I don't think I can guide myself. I really don't. I think that the only way to find is to stop thinking and stop being influenced by the rest you, of the you world. Yourself concede, so this is a you yourself concede God exists, yes? Okay, yes. Right, so who is the better moral compass, God or you? It's the same, because it's the same. <laughs> everyone is God, everything is God, so we are all God. And so the gift, there is, everything is God. God what, do you, what does that mean? What does that mean? God is inside you. Inside what, who me? told you that? Because. God is in the heart of man. No, you no, can, who to, no, you no. can connect who to God. You, who told you that? Bro? So you oh. can find him. No, but why do you believe that? I don't get it. You, you said this like it's fact. Who told you that? Because everything is influenced by God. You said it's a creator. I believe the creator is not part of creation. I believe I'm part of creation. No, I believe and therefore, I believe, I believe the creator is separate from creation. No, and why do you believe that? Because I don't believe it's separate. No, I understand what you don't. Because if it's separate, I cannot I'm not connect. asking why you don't believe something. I'm asking why you believe it. Because if it would be completely separate, I could not connect. Well, I'm creation. completely separate from my creator. Yeah, I'm connected. So well, I don't understand. For me, the connection is a way of being the same thing. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I'm created by my father, but I'm the same DNA of my father. I have part of the DNA of my right. father. Okay. I have part of uh, cultural influence from my father. Of course. So I'm actually the same of my father and my mother in a in a way. Right. And the same which could be from my creator and right. the, the creation. So, so the, crea it? So the creator is the you, creation. No, but why do you believe the creator is a creation when not separate? Has the creation always existed? Because it's has the creation always existed? For me, it's no. Has a creation always existed? No. No. Yeah. No. No. Sorry. Why not? I don't has know. It or I don't not? know. I don't know. If it always it existed or not. So you if believe there was a start of the time or there wasn't? I couldn't. I cannot know it. I right. Cannot, so you don't know. I don't know. So, but you're acting like it has. You're behaving like it's always existed. Well, yes. Uh, so, but you don't know. It does not influence my life. This. No, no, no. But it does. It does because what you've done, you see, is you believe in God exists. So I'm trying. You're, you're pantheist. I, I call it God because I want to find a way to communicate with you. you. All right. Okay, but I. I, I Do you believe God created the universe? Mm, uh, might, might be, but I'm not. No. No, I'm asking. I'm not, I'm not, right. I'm, I don't know. Listen to the I questions. Listen to the questions. All right. I'm not asking you I to be. I don't know if I, if he created. I'm not asking not. you definitive. You could be wrong in your answer. It's not an issue. Don't worry about it. But what do you believe? Based on what you've read, what do you believe? What I believe? Do you believe that God created the universe or not? I don't know. I don't know about this. If God I'm asking what you know. I'm asking what you believe. I don't believe. I, I believe it's not relevant for my life. If God created the... the I'll tell you why it is relevant for your life. Because if God did create the earth and he created everything that exists within that earth, yeah, the question has to be next week, why? And has this creator tried to connect with us, to guide us? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, it just so happens as a Muslim, I've said this about three times today, subhanAllah, that I follow the guidance of my creator. But what I believe is coming from my creator, yeah? Well, okay, but All right. who told you that that is, a, that is the guide, the book is the guide? No, that's what I believe, isn't it? Okay, this is what yeah? you believe. Okay. Yeah, based on the reasons why I believe it. Okay, we can go for the reasons why I believe it, it's not an issue. Okay, so, but I believe that, yeah? So I take that on board and follow that guidance, yeah? Okay. That guidance seems to protect me from all poisons and ills within society. Okay. Now you say that's a coincidence, yeah? You're saying just just so happens to be that way. All right. So, who guides you in that way? How do you? Do, for example, I'm going to use this for example again for the third time. Sorry. Okay. Do you believe alcohol is a good or bad thing? It depends on the on the amount. 
Right. So is it a good in society or bad? Would society be better with, without alcohol or with alcohol? It depends on them. So, really, what would a society be better off with alcohol or without it? Uh, well, without awareness of the amount of alcohol that is damaging. Uh, anyway. Okay. You, Do you think no. anyone, who, any alcoholic today, started off drinking a bottle of whiskey every month? No. Of course. Right. Right. So, is alcohol a good thing for a society or a bad thing for a society? It's something that there is, but right. So, using your moral compass, which you say is yourself, okay. you think it's all right. Well, it exists, so it should be. No, right. you think it's all right. Heroin exists. Is that okay? Heroin. Yeah. yeah I think that is. But it, it, it's in moderation. To be, it, to be used to. No, no. I'm about injecting to get good for feeling. People suffering, not for recreation. No, no. Why not for recreation? Well, for recreation. Why bad. not for recreation? Because it's poison for recreation. And is alcohol also poison? That depends on the amount. Every, everything. You so can, heroin. You can if you kill yourself also with bread if you eat too much. Right. So it depends on the amount. Right. So we're talking about alcohol, yeah. Now. As a Muslim, following my guidance, I'm protected from that poison. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? I'm also protected from the poison of gambling. Okay. Yeah? And dealing in interest. Yeah? And sexual immorality. And all of these things I'm protected from, from, from things like racism. But reason, with reason, you can do this. No, 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 no. The problem is this, you see. You are a slave to your ego. Uh, what your whims and desires and what will satisfy and make you happy, you're a slave to that. Now me, now me, now me, I tell my ego, shut up. I'm a slave to the one who created me. Yeah? So you're a slave to yourself and to your ego, whereas I'm a slave to the one who created everything. And it just so happens that that guidance I take from my master keeps me safe and happy. The problem is the ego, everyone needs an ego. No, no, okay, it's no. It's whether no, that no. ego controls you or not. Exactly. That is the problem. If the yeah. ego controls Well, you. the ego does control yeah. you, because it tells you what's right and wrong. But it's the reason that tells me what's right. No, it's the I, ego. I know that one no, no. beer is not, a, is no, no, not no, an no, issue. No, 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 no. What and tells you? No, no. no, it's your ego, it's your whims and desires that's telling you what's right and wrong. Actually, it's, it's because I It's your social surroundings and conditions. For what that alcohol is bad. Huh? And, uh, so, I know that it's bad too much alcohol, and then no, it's my reason, not it's my ego. It's just uh, uh, logic. It's, it's logical. So what's it logical to do then? If, if, if alcohol can lead to alcoholism, what's logical? What's logical to do? Just don't drink it. Not drink it or drink it with moderation? No, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Why? If one, what? one bottle of wine is not bad. It doesn't stop at one bottle of wine. It doesn't stop at one bottle of wine. The NHS in England is collapsing under alcoholism. Yeah? Whether it's for long-term illness or whether it's just for A&E on a Friday, Saturday night. Yeah? Yeah, I know. Collapsing. I know. Here is a big problem. I know. So I why is it a big problem? Because the people who run this society say, it's all right. Drink a few. Yeah? Yeah. There are people who get, get battered by someone who's been drinking. They've not been drinking. Yeah? But someone else has been drinking now has lost the faculty and lost... Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. It's, it's a disease and a poison within society. And if it was invented tomorrow, it would be banned tomorrow. Yeah? And the problem is this, you see, once the signal's given out by your people you take your moral compass from, that this is all right, yeah? Once you take that, then you think it's safe. And then you say to your kids, wait till you're 18, then you can also talk like us, yeah? So for 17 years of your kid's life, you're protecting them, you're nurturing them, you're feeding them, and then when they're 18, that's it, now go drink, boom, done. No, no, I, I teach them that alcohol is bad. You can't teach them alcohol is bad because you drink. I teach them that well, you can't. too much alcohol is bad. But the problem is this, what, what is the mechanism to prevent too much alcohol? You go on a Friday night, you feel peer pressure, drink, drink, everyone's drinking, we're all drinking. Yeah? Now bear in mind, listen, I've worked in Falaraki. Yeah? I've worked in Zakis, I've worked in Greek islands, dancing on bars and all that nonsense. Yeah? I've seen some mad stuff because of alcohol. I've got scars on my body yeah, that I wouldn't have if I never touched alcohol. And I was never an alcoholic. I was getting drunk. On your birthday, you get drunk. Yeah? Yeah? When, you, when I play pub fun, Sunday football after the match, you go back to the, the pub, drinking, drinking games, cards, this, that. I was captain of the pub pool team. So then we go playing pool, and then you're in the pub, you're drinking again. This is not alcohol abuse, this is just recreation. Yeah. You go to you go to a nightclub, yeah. You go to a nightclub. You're drinking, 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 drinking. I've seen so many fights. I've been in so many fights because of drinking alcohol in a nightclub. Yeah. There are people dead because people drove while drinking alcohol while being under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. You cannot ban completely. No, but what you can do is this: you can take your moral compass and see what does it say about this poison. Now, my moral compass says 
This is this is a bad for society, and I have to stay away from it. And I have to teach my children to stay away from it. And I try to encourage anyone I know to stay away from it. Yeah. Why? Because it's poison. But your moral compass permits poison. Mine don't. Right. So you can't be trusted though. Because what you're doing you see, is you you're thinking you know what's good for you and you don't. I'm teaching myself that it's poison. Too much is poison. But when it's when it's adult. Why not teach why not teach your son don't drink alcohol, son? Because one day you could become an alcoholic. Because I guarantee I can take you to any alcoholic you like and ask them, when you start drinking alcohol, was it in moderation or was it excess? Moderation, mate. But what happens is when someone gets depressed, they drink more. When someone dies in the family, they go to the wake, they drink. They, they, yeah? Because it becomes a really. Because don't get me wrong, there is um, a feeling you get after drinking alcohol that can numb the senses, that can get away from the, you know, all the pain you're feeling. Send me a picture of the letter. Yeah? There's, there's no disputing that. And that's the problem. What's the doorway to lead into that? Yeah? Now, we as Muslims, we don't just stop there, you see. We don't just say, can't drink alcohol. We can't be in a place where alcohol is being served. So I can't be in that nightclub getting battered by someone who has been drinking too much alcohol. Because I won't be in that environment. Yeah? We don't sell it. We don't transport it. We don't store it. We go nowhere near it. Why? Because of what it leads to. Yeah? And that's just alcohol. I could talk about sexual immorality. I, listen, I've got two daughters, 7 and 13 years of age. I don't have this dread that a non-Muslim parent will have when their daughter brings home their first boyfriend. I don't have this dread. Because my daughters ain't having boyfriends. Standard. And they know it. And they don't want it. My daughter's 13 years of age. If they watch a Disney movie or whatever, when the, kiss, when the prince kisses the princess, they turn away. This is my standard. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. But when you have a situation where you're, oh, it's cute, she's got a boyfriend, yeah? As fathers, yeah, we can spot a, a, a rogue a mile away. But girls, they're stupid, no disrespect, but they fall in love. Their emotions are carried away. Their hormones are racing. Yeah, I think that, right? is, that is normal. It's, yeah, it's the way, and, the and they might bring a geezer home. The, but here's what happens, you see. This is, this is not a generalization, but check this out. When they bring their boyfriend home, the dad sniffs it out. What's this geezer? Who's this geezer? Oh, oh I love him, it's Brian, whatever. And he says, but the, you know, you can see the guy's a waster. But she's in love with him now. So what happens is, because her hormones are racing or whatever, she'll start saying, well, you know, choose between him or me. 